Position is under attack again. Let's go, lad. The defenders could use some help. All right. This is your friendly YouTube tyrant, Tyrant Rex. And last time we left off, Khan and RTM had just arrived at Curse Station. Apparently, they're fighting off a bunch of damn mole rats. There must be something around here that is causing this giant invasion. All right. If they want to mess with me, they can mess with me. Eat it. Alright, today's episode, I kind of like to talk about uh, some game footage that I saw on the E3. Basically, one game in particular. It's a game called Watch Dogs. It looks really interesting. It's got like a GTA style map exploration. The map looks a lot like something that you'd see in GTA. And uh, the gameplay is it's kind of like Deus Ex, which ha it has a lot of espionage, hacker kind of stuff going on with it. And the reason I, I think this game caught my attention most rather than the other games that I saw on the E3 trailers and footage is the main f is the fact that the footage for the that that the company put out there for the game I think Ubi Ubisoft makes it is it's just complete gameplay footage like it's like first 10 minutes it's just all it, all gameplay footage you can see how the game would probably work on release unlike Halo or Call of Duty where yeah they showed you a little bit of gameplay in one section of their press conference but they didn't give you really much else to work with it was just a small section of something that showed you pretty much nothing new or nothing interesting about the game that you were about to play it's all the same it's just like what you would would have seen anywhere else and it's probably already been leaked. So things, uh, but with Watch Dogs, they show you a full 10-minute video where all you have. Oh, I must have fallen in a fucking hole. But um, all, all all you have is just pure raw gameplay footage. So go check out that trailer, and if you enjoy the, enjoy the game, buy it on release. Buy it when it first comes out. I might buy it on Steam if they have it because. That, I mean, I just love Steam. It's such a good service. It's easy to get games on it, and the games, even though the games may be old, you get good deals on them. And there's a lot of games on Steam that don't get enough attention when it comes to, you know, their first release. And it's really nice to, to find them. Like, I didn't. The, one game that I, uh, in particular, on Steam that I like was Psychonauts. And when it first came out for Xbox, it got almost no coverage. Like, it got good reviews, but no real coverage to sell it. So I never even heard about the damn game until it came out on Steam, and I saw, hey, that's a game that I've heard of from Ben Yahtzee Croshaw, which, if you, anybody's ever watched his videos, you, you, you know that he's kind of an elitist, and if he likes something, you, you should like it too. Like he criticizes the game to they criticizes games and his reviews to such a crazy depth that if he likes the game, like if he finds almost nothing to really say about it, bad about it, then that means that it's a good purchase for you. So, but then again, everybody you know has their preferences. Everybody has their different games that they like. So I, I guess. Take, take what I just said with a grain of salt. It may not be for you. It may be for you, but majority of the time, if whenever he he likes a game and I and I try to play it, it really works out really well for me. I just I just dig it to almost no end. It's crazy. But yeah, E3 E3 this year, uh, yeah, for the most part, I I just wasn't impressed with the selection of games that were coming out. A lot of 
a lot of redubs and stuff like that. You basically, you know, a lot of sequels of the sequels of the sequels, sagas of games. I never, I never thought that I, I would see sagas in games. Basically, we got Star Wars in the movies with a bunch of video games this year. We got Black Ops 2, which is basically Call of Duty 18.7599, whatever. It's like, it's just a redone version of an old, you know, old Call of Duty game gussied up a little bit. Basically, it's it's got slightly improved graphics and I like the, what they're going for with with the game though is now they're going they're gonna it's set in a futuristic setting so that means that they have a lot more leniency with guns that they can use I mean sure it's it's still gonna be realistic guns guns that are in development and stuff like that but they got a little more leniency but with what they could do with balancing and stuff like that so I, I look I look forward to it but it's probably not going to be anything new, so I, I I just I don't know what to think about this year. We got Dead Space 3 coming out, and I know a lot of people are like, well, if you like the first few games, like why wouldn't you like the next games? Partially, it's because I I just don't like it like sequels. Like if the first game was good, usually the sequel will be terrible, mainly because when it comes to the sequel they they rush the release and when it comes to these call of duty games they they they're rushing the release they always rush the release on the call of duty games partially because they know that every, every a lot of people are just just going to buy it just cuz it says call of duty on it that's just that that's a reason to buy it and if you don't get and on when it comes to the youtube scene if you're not posting call of duty you're probably missing out on a lot of views and subscribers. So everybody wants to see the new Call of Duty game on release date. So, I don't know what to think about this year. Got a, got a bunch of cool games coming out, but a lot of sequels coming out too and rehashes. So, when it comes on to N Nintendo, Nintendo's still, still milking old franchises, but Nah, what, what what do you expect from Nintendo? That's that's what they do. They they release things that are nostalgia. Nostalgia is a really good selling tool because people like me who whose first game were like the Super Mario Bros. games and uh, I know my my first game system was the original NES. So when I say when I say like you know nostalgia, those games are exactly what I want to play most times. They're simple, easy to play, and you don't have to think too much when you play them. So it, it just it just works out in your favor when you play games play games like that. It could be frustrating, but it, it, it if you die a lot, but you get a lot of lives in the Mario games. So if you're getting frustrated, just remember you probably got 99 more lives if you play the game as it's meant to be played, which is jump on Goombas and farm the crap out of lives. Grab coins, get money, get the power, go for it, you know? A big war at a small station was won. I won't be going further with you. I'm still needed here. The tunnels have collapsed. If you still want to get to Polis, you'll have to take a detour. You can get to the armory from here, and afterwards you will have to go through the stations belonging to the Reds and the Nazis. Let's move. But yeah, E3 this year is... I, I wish I could go once, but since it's mostly a press event, you, you come out of it exactly as Yahtzee said, knowing just as much as when you went in, because they don't show, they don't show much of the gameplay, they just, it's there, to get publicity for their game, so that so that they can uh, get the stock uh, stockholders behind their games, pretty much. If you don't have your stock uh, stockholders getting behind your game, your game's usually not going to get any funding or you know development money. So that's partially why E3 is not something that I would want to go to. If you want to hit up a really good gaming convention, PAX, BlizzCon, any of the individual gaming conventions 
would usually be your best bet. So, and back to the game. As you can see, I had a little bit of trouble figuring out where the hell I needed to go just then. But now we're on our way, and uh, Khan is going to let me take this ladder here, detour through, since we had to destroy the tunnel that the Remember, Nosalises, or as I call them, mole rats, were sneaking through. Until we meet again. Goodbye, Artyom. I hope we meet Khan again. That dude was crazy awesome. Armory Station was where most of the weapons in the metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above. But after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, but he found me first. RTM is more solid snake like than I expected. That's probably no good. Let's always stay at full health. It's good to start at full health when you're walking around. You don't want to be. Get that gas mask on. I don't trust this place. Alright, what we got going on here? Who goes there? Stand still. Hey, loosen up. It's a human. Kill the light already. Well, you look human. <laughs> That's all that counts. Come in, this is a free station. Alright, looks like we're hitting up the armory station. Hopefully we don't get ourselves killed here. Forget. Our free station is under the watchful eye of the Reds. Paranoia is the new game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. Do you understand? No problem. I don't want to get shot today. Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the armory. Please stay at your registered residences and assist the law enforcement personnel in their work. Be vigilant, comrades. The enemy never sleeps. Face to the wall. This is an inspection. Hey, come on. Quit harassing me. I don't swing that way. <laughs> Got the bolt yet? Prepare for inspection. Oh, I'm always prepared for this. Uh, doctor, could you check my prostate while you're at it? I'm pissing kind of funny. It's glowing. Must be the radiation. Go huh? to hell. <laughs> you freak. <laughs> Whoever this dude is, he, he's pretty hilarious. So, you kick the part that attracts you the most? <laughs> oh, that's pretty weak, though. What, they don't feed you enough? Shh. Hush. And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend! Put your hands out! You're under arrest. Under arrest for what? Right, alright! Lay off! Ugh. I'll come quietly. Stop <laughs> I'll shoot! You Run! Shit. Win. I'm gonna kill him! Go! Come on! Follow me! Alright. Be careful, idiot! First two seconds of being here, and we're already getting shot at. Excellent. Well, since we're in the station, I might as well take off my gas mask. Oh, that's right, my hands are bound. I can't do that. All right. After me. Alright, and I get killed again, so I'm just going to call that a video, we we'll load the last checkpoint on the next video. Alright, but go ahead, like I said, go ahead and check out that Watch Dogs uh, trailer, gameplay trailer. I think y'all really like it, if you like GTA or if you like sneaking around and hacking stuff, if you like any kind of espionage type game like Splinter Cell or something like that, it's probably going to be the game for you and you probably want to learn, uh, learn a little bit about it before you buy it. So just check it out, and uh, I'll be back in a few mo moments to complete this section. Take it easy. This is Tyrant Rex, signing out.